Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be about what I titled Programmed People. Now, I don't know if that's the proper title for this topic or not, but I just needed to talk about it. I'm going to give an example of how it feels how people are so robotic. It's like certain people. Some people that are working in various businesses or just they're a representative of a business or they're this person who works in, for example, we went into the GNC place a few days ago. I'm not stating where, obviously, but we went into the, uh, for some, some thing for some health things. And I tried to get this, um, this kidney detox powder for my mama because she goes this, uh, cranberry kidney detox powder because my mama goes through so many problems, so many, and that helps slightly. Um, so we were in there and this person, like many people who work in these types of places that represent something or just a representative or uh, not a cashier, but yet they're, they're a worker that just meant to sell something. They just talk. They, a lot of the people who are in these places seem like robots they, or just like a, like they're not even human, like they're not people. And... My mama was kind of, she was, I guess she was kind of joking when I stated it. I said, these people seem like they're, like they're robots. Like they're not even people or something. And she said, you know, sometimes I wonder. She, just, she said, it seems just, it's, they seem so strange, so different. Um, and I, I guess she was joking. I mean, obviously, but it's just, I didn't, I wasn't going to share this. And I was sort of joking, but then I thought, I don't know, that's the second time that's happened this year. Or actually, probably more than that, really. But, I mean, going to this place, and, he, and they all... The person in front of us... Lovely weather we're having today. Lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? Lovely weather. It was... It had been pouring rain all week. And then, that day, it had been pouring rain, and then it stopped for a few minutes, and we got enough time... We had enough time to take the garbage off and um, get some things done. And then I felt awful, but we utilized that time to do what I could. And... Then we go in there to the G in there to the GNC this GNC place, lovely lovely weather we're having, and th this guy in front of us he's like, yeah it's pretty good you know pretty good, um, and I'm thinking, and he just went along with it like pretty good, and then he asked me he's like hey and then he later he's like lovely weather we're having today isn't it? I mean no it wasn't it was windy it was cloudy it had been raining and then. And I look outside, I'm thinking, where is he, what is he thinking? Like he's pre-programmed. I mean, I mean, and I said, well, it's been raining quite a bit. And he said, well, I wouldn't know. He said, luckily, he wouldn't know. He was, he wouldn't know. I mean, it, the, the weather, the weather's literally right outside the window. The windows are open. <laughs> the weather's literally right outside the door and windows in front of him. Glass. He could see outside. It had been raining all day, and we just had a break, and it was cloudy. This huge overcast of heavy clouds, gray clouds. And he said, "Lovely weather we're having today." To me, after saying it to the other people in front of me, and and he said, "I wouldn't know. I was inside. I've been inside all day for um, since uh, eight o'clock this morning." I'm thinking. He wouldn't know. He just said lovely weather, and then he said, "I've been here since eight o'clock. I wouldn't know what the weather's doing outside." You can. How could he not know? He sees it right in front of him, right out the window. And I said, "Well, it's been raining so long." And he said, "Well, I don't. I wouldn't know." I said, "It's been raining all week." He said, "Yeah, I wouldn't know. I've been in here. I've been in here. What? I didn't think about all of that till just now." He said, I wouldn't know. I've been in here. I've been in here, in the building. You, you can't stay in the building all week and never leave unless you live there. Then he locks up the doors at exactly 8 o'clock and goes into the back. He just went into the back. And that just... It's... I mean... I'll tell you another example of a robotic-like person. Like, these people just don't... They don't seem... I'm sorry, they don't seem like people. 
something is going on and people are going to say, well, you're just paranoid. No, you can see it if you pay attention that things are not normal. It's like they're either just a mind-controlled drone or they're... And he talked like this right here. He said, he said, yeah, a lot of times you say they slow down the metabolism a little bit. When you, he said, a lot of people, all these energy things, they, they just drink coffee. And he said, a lot of these things, all they have is caffeine in them. Caffeine is really the uh, key nutrient to, the key ingredient to getting energy. He said, a lot of these things, he said, I wouldn't... He said, they're just uh, pretty much just hopped up on caffeine when they, take the ener when they take these energy things. And he said, these pills, a lot of things that have energy in them, it's just the main ingredient is caffeine. So he said, I'm not going to lie to you, you're better off just drinking coffee or drinking some of the caffeine in it. And he just sounds like he's on speed. And he's like, yep, yeah, that's just what it is. Because he said, a lot of times he said, the nutrients in the body, he said the cells, the ribosomes break down, this, they break down the chemical uh, chemical compounds, break it down, and then it breaks it down from sugar, and then it glucose, blah, blah, blah. He starts talking about everything, and he said the energy in the body, and he said, you need something with a lot of protein, the protein will help him. He just keeps talking like he's just, with such, and he's like, all right, thank you, have a nice day, have a nice day, bye. I mean, but yet he goes, to everyone, lovely weather we're having today. And then I wouldn't know because I wasn't out. I was. I haven't been in here. I've been in here since eight a.m. And I said, "Well, it's been raining all week." And he said, "Well, I I wouldn't know. I was in here. The windows are literally open. Just windows, doors, glass." And what does he mean? He's been in there all week. And then he clo he locks up and then goes into the back. Another example is, we went to last year. I think actually this was uh, when I got another phone battery for my Galaxy S five. We went to the back. I mean, we went back. We went to the Batteries Plus, which has now always been for about 10 years now, Batteries Plus bulbs. We go in there, and the guy, this young guy, he's literally, hey, how can I help you today? Again, with the lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? Key words, nice weather we're having today, isn't it? Like on that SpongeBob episode where he's SpongeBob normal pants. Lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? Uh, yes, I, I guess so. Okay, I'll get back to work now. Nice weather we're having today, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And then he, he said, okay, nice, nice talking to you. And then he starts typing, you know, the computer when SpongeBob became normal. I'm normal now. But, <laughs> yeah, anyway. And this guy in the, uh, in the Batteries Plus place, Batteries Plus, he stated, what are you looking for today? Can I help you? And... I said, well, I was looking for a portable battery charger. That was back then. It's battery charger you plugged to the wall before I got the uh, wireless at QI adapter for charging wirelessly. And he uh, he stated, do you know what it looks like? He said, and I said, uh, well, it's a square thing. He said, do you know what the name of it is? He said, I need a, a name brand. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't uh, humans, other people, <laughs> the other humans as I would say, that would would help me out in these places, would walk around and show me exactly where something was. And he, uh, he, he said, well, do you know what the number of it is? I was like, I don't know the number, but he said, do you know the name so I could look it up? He said, if I, I type it in the computer and it will uh, tell me where it's at. The room is only about as big as, you know how small Batteries Plus buildings are? They're usually in a strip mall, and their place is not large at all. They don't have much to see. And he said, do you know the name of it? I said, no, I don't remember the name. He said, I said, I should. I had it all that time. And he said, he's like, uh, I don't know. He said, uh, I have to type into the computer before I know the name, before I can find it. I'm thinking, just, why can't he just look around? I said, it's a little white thing. It's the only thing, only one you have in here of this portable uh, uh, battery charger. And he said, well, without a number or a name, I can't find it. And I'm thinking, okay. And he's like, is there anything else I can help you with? Anything? I mean, and then he said, sorry, I can't, sorry, I can't find, sorry, I can't find it. And he went, he typed on the computer for a moment. And it was like, I don't see it. I don't see anything. And he went, he just touched, like, tap, tap. And it was, I don't see anything. And he just looked at the screen. And I said, do you mind if I look around? He said, oh, be my guest. And put his hand to the side of it. Be my guest. Look behind me. And I said, oh, I said, there it is, right behind you. And he said, okay. There it was right behind him, what I was looking for. 
right there. But he couldn't. He said he could not find it unless he typed it in the computer and it told him the location. He couldn't find it unless he typed it in the computer, a code or a name, so it would tell him the location. Most humans can, if you get a gist of what something is, they can either look it up and find it and look around for something, or look around for, is this what you're talking about, or something. But no, he said that he had to type it in or scan to figure out what I was talking about and then see where it's located on the wall or on the shelf, like based on the barcodes they had on each thing. I mean, just just look around as a, as a, as a person. If you're human, you'd think you would do that. And again, with the lovely weather we're having today, and that day it was, so I was like, yeah, pretty good, kind of cool. And he went, yeah, I suppose. Um, he said, he was just like, <laughs> yes, I suppose. I've shared this before, but if this is so many times that it's happened. The people are just like drones. They're like drones, mind-controlled zombie drones. If they're people, some of them, the, the people that were there before, that were there the last time I'd, I'd gone in there, they said, yeah, what are you looking for, buddy? And that, that, that's human talk. And he would walk to the back and say, hey, uh, all right, is this it? Hold on. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Let me think. Um, let me look around. Here it is, right here. There you go, bro. And he's like, all right, that'll be so-and-so. Type it in here. That's human. But this person, just like the other guy, they just literally just go along. Oh, you don't want these? Okay. You want these now? He takes them out of there. This was in GNC. He takes them out of there and then says, yeah, that happens. No, those down there are what I was talking about. It's like they take one instruction at a time. And then he scanned the items and said, here you go. But the guy at... Batteries Plus, he was like, oh, okay, good. I'm glad you found it. The total, and he goes, two buttons now. Two, two, uh, two, he said, I'm glad you were able to find it. And he talked robotically. He talked like, I'm glad you found it. I'm glad you were able to find it. And he said, your total will be so-and-so. And he goes, click, click. it was like the computer was a part of him. He said, I cannot find something unless the, unless the computer, uh, he can't find something without typing a code or name so that it can give him the location of the item. I know people are dependent on technology and they do that. All, it's like they can't do something without the devices. But come on, just look around and have some human interaction if you're human. I'm starting to wonder sometimes and he stated he was he said glad you were found what you were looking for all right the total will be so and so he said cash and then the computer added up the cash change and then he handed it to me and said thank you have a nice day And he just walked and then turned and just stood there, robotically, like waiting for another customer. I mean, some of the certain people, and these other people, the people that are people, do seem like people, they act like, I mean, these people either act like they're robots, some of them, or robotic copies, or maybe some kind of, a, I don't know, maybe cloned, I don't know, it's like, or like they're just drones, or they're just some kind of a fillers that are just like fillers in reality or or like these supernatural shows maybe they're replacements from some other being dark being or something I don't know but some of them they just act robotic they act like robots and the rest of the people just act like they just follow along and follow the instructions and this is the way it is and that's that and if we're not told then that is not the way it is if we are told that is the way it is we must follow instructions yes that's it follow along we must listen to the almighty system. And that, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> it's really, and it's really freaky how many people you see that act robotic. 
and people working in businesses, you could tell the difference between one that acts human and his, their eyes, the, this other person, their eyes. The second one, not so much. that I, The first one I mentioned, not as much as the, the, the second one that I mentioned. But the second one I mentioned, he had no expression, no emotion. I stated a joke, and he's just like, yes, <laughs> um, or something. It, it wasn't even a real laugh. It was... It was just, I said, making it, you know, he's like, how are you today, sir? And I said, well, you know, we're making it, do the best we can. That's all we can do, right? And he said, yes. <laughs> I mean, it just, it's freaky. It's freaky. And their non-human expression is just like a, I don't know. Maybe it's the NPC situation like Jason Christopher talks about. But people, I don't know, they don't, they didn't, the people that I'm talking about, they, they didn't seem like, like people. Especially the one I mentioned second. He acted like a robotic way. And it's just, I know the first guy, maybe he had a, maybe he had his vehicle in the back. Maybe he left through the back. I don't know, but. I don't know. It's just there's some freaky stuff going on. And I just need to share a little bit of it. And it's getting strange how often that happens. Peace and much love. As always, this is Spaced Out Productions signing out. My links are below if you'd like to help support and all of that. Peace and much love. My email is also below. Bye.